story time. All right. All right. So uh, I am about six months after my divorce had cleared. It was like 2008. I uh, flew out to see my buddy. He's like a brother to me, an old Green Beret buddy in, in uh, California. <clears throat> now, little did I know that he had been running interference for me and uh, setting up a shag nanigans with a former Victoria's Secret model. Yeah, it was a pretty good time. Not bad, not bad. Now, not bad I, I will say this, though. Uh, it was not, like, the hype was way better than the actual event. Mm. But I still did it! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> you know, before people like Megan Rapinoe oh my God. were Rapinoe. The, the, the face of Victoria's Secret. At that point, the secret's out. Well, uh, hang on. She is the spokesman, or she used to be the spokesman for Subway. Oh, yeah, she did that, too. Yeah, she, she is and, the women's uh, soccer player and what who insists happened? that need, they need to be making more than men, despite the fact they can't even beat 15-year-old boys. And they can't fill the stadium. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and, I, I want, and what's happened to Subway since then? I mean, her claim to fame was 2020, right? I want to say, yeah. Was it 2020? And then they lost their legal case against the uh, yeah. the league spectacularly. Because w when they actually had to do the math, something that the left is notorious for ignoring, because, you know, it's white supreme pizza now to do it's math. It's racist, yeah. Yeah. It turns out that they were actually making more per capita when you compare all of the variables in place than men. It was just like the WNBA. The WNBA is basically subsidized by, by the, the NBA. NBA because they don't put asses in seats. Well, heavily. I mean, there are some games out there where they're lucky to get 2,000 people. Yeah. And these are the people that you want promoting, like, the premier brand of lingerie? Mm -hmm. Not so much. Well, like, in one of those big stadiums, just to turn on all of the fucking lights... And heating or air conditioning for that big, it's like almost two Gs right there. Yeah. So they're Same. they're actually playing the game for a loss, but getting mm -hmm. they want to get paid the same as men. Get the fuck out of here. Obviously, these people think, you know, this is going to be a socialistic answer and it'll be all good in the end, even though they don't fucking know how the real world works. Well, I mean, all you have to do is look at the real world and you will see that socialism in every incarnation has failed. In every culture where it's been tried. Yeah, not only did it fail, it shit the bed and wiped its yeah. ass on the sheets on the way out. Yeah, the, the WNBA can't put asses in seats, but socialism can absolutely put bodies in graves. Yeah, yeah absolutely. 100%. So they uh, they decided that uh, <clears throat> Megan Rapinoe and a uh, Transformers model mm. were the answer over at Victoria's Secret. And now they're cutting 160 management roles in this reorganization of their company. And that's 5% of its home office staff. Wow. And you go down here, the company's stock has declined 32% since its peak immediately after the reorganization last year. Anytime there's word that, hey, we're going to... We're gonna we're fix gonna things fix up. We're gonna stuff. make things better than ever. There's always an immediate <clears throat> bump. Yep. And then the reality sets in. But but the thing is, is typically because I did finance for a long time. I was an investment banker. But if a company has to reorganize, and it's not an actual Chapter 13 or Chapter 11, they will soon be filing bankruptcy. So I'm I'm betting. That this is a Hail Mary pass from Victoria's Secret to try to save their asses. Oh, they're and, done. And it's not going to work. When you get woke, you go broke. That's right. Uh, I mean, 32% isn't even the biggest dip that we've seen in companies like this. No. Netflix is hemorrhaging subscriptions. And they're, yeah. Disney's $40 billion in debt. PayPal has lost over half of their value in less than a year. Well, so, so is Walt Disney. Yeah, well, that's I said, Disney's forty billion in debt. Well, I'm t their stock, their stock value, their stock is going, is going to anything going woke is going broke. The backlash is obvious, and yet they still think that their friends in New York, L.A., and San Francisco are the pulse of the nation. 
Yeah, and they're gonna <laughs> they're gonna flip the bill for everything. Yeah, because everywhere you go, there's needles and human feces on the street, right? Yeah, oh, or or there's a human poop app. Oh yeah, that's so my you favorite. can avoid, you know, the human feces uh, on the ground. Yeah, yeah. I mean, unless you're into that, and then you you use it as a snack finder. Well, I mean, that's how you get like cholera and and all kinds of fucked up disease. black plague. Yeah, plague, mm. cholera. Or BIPOC plague, if you prefer. I mean, TBs floating around out there. All kinds of... Uh, Bad news bears. <laughs> all kinds of uh, <laughs> downstairs mix-up sicknesses. Well, this is what happens when you try to push this as normal. I mean, of course, this is this is beautiful. I- I've never seen a more more appealing ad in my life to sell women's products. Yeah. I mean, this is... I mean, if you obviously, if you don't get on board with this, you're uh, you're an Igget Bay. Yeah, we're uh, you know, <laughs> not to be confused with Michael Bay. We're a phobist Igget. <laughs> That's the new word. An istophobe. An istophobe or phobist Igget. <laughs> I like phobist Igget. I mean, I remember when the Victoria's Secret catalog arrived in the and mail it was porn. when I was a kid. It was yeah, it was like free porn. It was it was that and the Sears catalog. Every time Letitia Costa was on the cover, I was like. She's wearing a white bikini. All right. All right. Yeah. Which which bathroom has the lock on it again? <laughs> oh, <got> it. <laughs> hey, that's the way it goes when you're young, man. <laughs> <laughs> it is, you know, when you're that young, a stiff breeze, no pun intended. That's it's really all you need. And you're at full attention. Uh, like my last three years in high school, uh, I spent pretty much seventy percent of the day covering my crotch because you know oh yeah you gotta put the the books down there the hydraulics was going watch grunt speak live every tuesday and thursday at 8 p.m eastern and if you'd like to join pop for support or sundays consider making a donation on locals patreon or subscribe star